So welcome everyone. Welcome to the evaluation report launch of Move and Make Music. So I'm Liv and I run an organisation called Sounds Better CIC. We used to be known as Music for Wellbeing, but we've since changed our name, which I think sounds better. So as you all know, we were funded by the Paul and Nick Harvey Fund to run a music project for people with dementia so they could come together to sing, to play music, with some familiar tunes, but also write our own music. And a massive thanks to Paul and Nick, and we will be forever grateful for the opportunity that this gave to us. So we ran groups in Downton and Tisbury, which are both in rural Wiltshire. And we ran them from September through to March 2022. Now we always started with some tea and some biscuits and some chats for about half an hour, which is very important to us to get us settled, to meet people and to have a chat as well. Then we did around an hour of music making, movement, dancing. So although our absolute focus was on people living with dementia, some other people from the local community in the village chose to attend too. And it made it a really inclusive and welcoming group and reflected the older population in the villages. So we had 13 people living with dementia, five people without dementia, nine family members and three professional carers join us across the two groups. That totaled 30 people. And then we had a fantastic project team of seven, and it's nice to see them here today. And that includes wonderful volunteers as well. So Nell, who is also here today, she helped us evaluate the project. She helped us to see how well the project was going and what people thought of it. Um, and she did this in lots of different ways. She visited our groups a couple of times. You might remember meeting her. She spoke um, to people in the group and over the phone, and she asked the musicians involved what they thought of the project too. So we wanted to find out the following things. We wanted to find out if we achieved what we said we were going to achieve. And we wanted to see what helped us or didn't help us achieve these aims. We also wanted to know what the most valuable or the most important thing about the project was to those who took part. And we also wanted to know what we learned from taking part in this project. So I know this is a bit wordy, but that's what projects make us do. They make us write these big aims and objectives. But our overall aim was to support people living with dementia and those who care for them through creative group music making and also to develop community support and networks for people living with dementia in the South Wiltshire area. And that will lead to improving their quality of life. And you can see there on the right hand side, there's a couple of quotes from people who Nell spoke to. A family carer says, when I bring her, she really enjoys it and she's happy singing and, you know, it's amazing. And she's very, very kind. <laughs> and then another family carer said that I think he finds that he comes back much more peaceful. So already you can see the impact we had on those taking part. So for people living with dementia, we wanted to help maintain your well-being and how you feel, or even improve it. We wanted to provide an opportunity for you to connect with other people and to also make music and think about all the things that you have in common with other people as well. For the people, other people we worked with, we wanted to help um, people improve their skills in working musically and in their knowledge of dementia. And we wanted to deepen our partnership working uh, with the memory groups and other organisations in the area. And you can see here again the quotes. So a professional carer that supported the group, they said, I see so happy, I see people so happy and so light-hearted when they come out of it. 
I think it's worth its weight in gold. I really do. And one of our lovely volunteers, she noticed he has come out of himself so much. He's been so much more relaxed. His humour is coming out. He's joining in. So you can see that we had a really, really huge impact on people taking part, as well as people who worked in the project team. So there were several um, things that did help us and things that didn't help us achieve these aims as well. So we were working during the COVID pandemic and this really didn't help us too much. People were scared to come out a little bit, but also it affected um, the engagement of other organisations that could have helped us a bit more. So for example, health centres, GPs, um, health staff were all tied up with doing the vaccine, totally understandable. So they were very, very busy. But things that did help us was the incredible local knowledge of our local group coordinators, such as Anne-Marie and Jane. And without them, this project could not have happened at all. They were second to none. And then the third theme that came out of Nell's evaluation was the professionalism and the responsiveness of the people leading the music. So I was lucky to be one of them. And I had colleagues, Kevin and Anna, who were working with me too. Again, we have another quote that I'll read out for you now. I think the people running it makes the difference. I've seen so much in my career of people dealing with dementia or memory loss who aren't very good with it. So they haven't experienced all the intuition or the knowledge to know how to deal with it. And I think Olivia and Anna have got it down to a fine art. I think they're either very well experienced or they're just very intuitive in their personalities and how they view people with memory loss. I don't think anyone could come in and do it. I think it's Olivia and Anna in particular make this what it is. Now, obviously they're referring to the music, but I would say that the volunteers and the local group coordinators were also should also be included in that because their experience and their skills and their knowledge really made the group special and it made them work. Other things that we found that were important to people living with dementia and the carers um, about the project was that the project provided a social opportunity, it was a safe and it was a completely normalised environment. People could be who they wanted to be in that space. For family carers, they loved seeing their family member really, really happy and enjoying themselves. And for some family carers, it meant another activity that they could go to. Uh, and that's quite tricky sometimes in more rural and, and isolated areas. And for families and professional carers, they recognised that there was high quality music leadership and the leaders were responsive and really, really responding to people's needs. Uh, for some people, the creative aspect of it was um, brilliant and they loved it and it was very different to other offers around the area and from our volunteers they said they loved um, in, well they enjoyed coming and they gained a sense of satisfaction from contributing to the local community and we're very grateful for everything they've done. So the learnings that we took from doing the project is actually having two music and movement leaders Per session was a great asset and it really helped um, kind of respond to people's needs and what they wanted to do more easily. Um, we also learned that we really need other local organisations to support the group and to help us promote it so more people can take part. And we also learned that the project could work with people from across the county borders as we, as an organisation, don't have to limit where people come from. So that's a really great opportunity as well. So I'm going to share a couple of songs now that we wrote across the two groups, one from the Tisby group and one from the Downton group. Um, and then after that, we'll summarise and then we'll share the film um, of the Downton group. So. We use songwriting as a way of uh, encouraging people to share memories, to share their own personal stories, or just how they respond in the moment to certain prompts. 
and this we traveled all the way through the seasons um, and we wrote songs or wrote a verse about each season of the year so this is this means autumn to me swirling mists in the morning plums and nuts off the tree the damp smell from kicking through the leaves that means autumn to me hot soup and log fires woolly gloves hats and scarves four layers keeping out the cold that means winter to me daffodils bring us hope football season's finally here snowdrops arrive lightening my heart that means spring to me packing for the summer holiday leaving all the chores behind Passport camera and swimsuit for the sea That means summer to me That means summer to me Thank you and I'm going to go on and share um, another song from this is from the Danton group now, just to point out here that actually the groups were very different in how they responded to music making, creative music making. The Tisbury group preferred to be more active and sing songs they knew. Um, so we only wrote one song together, but that's fine. And the Downton group really took on that songwriting process and we wrote a few more. But I'm only going to share one song, you'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> from that group now. This is called No Place Like Home. And I thought it went very well with the, um, the last verse of the, the autumn song. I talk about traveling and summer holidays and travel was a big theme for the Downton group. <clears throat> I've been around the world a thousand times or more to see the mountains and stand upon the shore or something like that shooting fishing engineering the times were always good but family always brings me back there's no place like home Home where I belong Green grass, whiskey and a song There's no place like home
there's no place like home. songs that were written and I feel very privileged to have been part of that whole process and we did gather and perform them for our friends and family at, at the very end of each project. So Nell was very kind and gave us some recommendations for how we might move forwards in future and she said that we need to ensure that there's enough project management development and recruitment time, yeah I agree, uh, included in the budgeting and that actually two, med two, sorry, two music leaders and having the local group coordinators is a really good model uh, and it really works for what we're trying to do. And then ideally there should be a longer term project which will then help to raise awareness of the groups, the benefits of attending and of course reach more people in the end. So just to finish the presentation before we watch the Downton film, just to say thank you very much to the Paul and Nick Harvey Fund, the Utley Foundation and Music for Dementia. We are so grateful and will ever forever be indebted uh, to you all to enable us to do this. Massive thanks to my co-leaders, Kevin Plummer and Anna Carr, who were just amazing to work with and so creative. And of course, the project coordination to Jane, and to Anne-Marie, who this could not have happened without. And just to mention our volunteers, lovely Hilary and Mary as well, who just brought so much to the sessions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, to Nell. So I've been Liv and from Sounds Better, CIC.